Well, that intro was interesting to film. I must have looked like a right nut job to anybody watching. Hey, the Madudes, I am Laddie, and welcome to another video. Uh, in this video, I'm just so excited about everything. Let me zoom in on myself. I have not set this camera up okay. There is going to be construction work going on. Literally right there. That is gonna be interesting. So if you guys hear construction happening, that's what's happened I have nails on don't ask I got bored was like this put some nails on why not this video is an exciting video I am very Excited to be making it. It's basically just a video of like my one year and six months on testosterone I'm kind of just under one year and six months on tea so like Technically, it's a little bit of a cheating video, but I mean by like five days and I want to make it now so I can have it ready for the weekend and all that kind of stuff. Knowing me and how lazy I am when it comes to actually scheduling my editing, it's probably best I make it earlier to get it out on time. It's crazy, I haven't really done one of these in a while because I was going to do it, I did it every month until a year and now I'm going to do it every like six months, every half a year. I am about a year and two months-ish post-op top surgery and I am a year and six months since my first injection of testosterone back June 10th 2018 ish so it's pretty crazy let's zoom in hello darlings um I can't be asked to set up any lights so this is what you're gonna have to deal with you're gonna have to deal with this terrible lighting because the sun is actually going down don't want this video to be too long, but I just want to go through, have a look back, everything that's changed, all the cool things that have happened, um, and speak about my appointment as well when I went down to see Miles Barry with my one year post-op sort of appointment and how things have changed. So I made a little video the other day based on how my body has changed. Please go check that out. I'll put it in the iCard, not sure which side it will be. It's so much a change in my body and when I went down to my one year post-op, it was a both like a mix of looking at what's changed with my chest healing and also what has changed with my, like my body in general because he showed me the photos of me before and I actually didn't realize how like untoned and kind of ew my body was because I said I wanted to see the photos I'm always interesting at looking at my old body seeing how it's changed and it's crazy the difference my body now like even Miles Berry when I went to speak to him he said wow okay yeah your body has changed like he was like yeah you're much more chuck toned you've lost a lot of weight you can see more muscle on the upper half you're skinny but like it's better than you know being whatever the fuck I was before um, and so he said like he said like a lot has changed and it's crazy because other people will notice more than I notice what's changed in my body because I see myself all the every day um, and I looked at the photos and I could not believe I, I don't have the photos but if you look at that video you can see the difference between me just before top surgery and me now and after a summer of exercising but it's so crazy like originally it was just my voice so I'm gonna do my voice comparison quickly for you guys hey there it's Toby slash laddie I'm one day on tea and I want to be a real boy hey the dudes I'm laddie I'm one year and six months on testosterone and I want to be a real boy Ooh, hello I haven't been able to do it that high since I started testosterone I want to be a real Oh, oh my god. Um, one thing that happens when you go further on testosterone is rather than, you know, the voice breaky period, your kind of vocals actually open back up and you can start doing like a wider ranges. So I actually been able to start going higher again, um, but also lower at the same time. So that's interesting. Um, changes uh, body wise. I'm more happy with it. I still have that sort of curved look, but I'm told that goes in a few years, um, but it just takes a while for that curved look of where the fat and everything clings to go. I have a very swimmers type build, so I've still got that little bit around my hips, which sometimes annoys me. I'd say I'm getting a lot more facial hair, but the more facial hair I seem to get here and here, the more facial hair I seem to get, the more hair 
leaves this area. So we stand that. I'm actually going to go get some stuff for it so the testosterone doesn't go to my hair follicles and I can keep my hair for longer. The banging next door was really annoying me. Stop! Please stop! <laughs> We've been doing maintenance work on that house for weeks now. Every morning starts at 8 a.m. They start drilling into the walls. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> my face has changed quite an amount. Um, yeah, it's changed quite an amount. Uh, jawline is, you know, it's just becoming more masculine in general. I know that's not, you know, um, I've already done comparisons and things to my face recently. Um, I am crazy amounts happier though. And, uh, you know, it's it's always a process, but oh my god, stop banging! Jesus Christ! <sighs> I'm gonna hold this camera quickly because the wall that you're on is being literally drilled into and they are literally knocking on the wall, like, continuously and it is really pissing me off. Anyway, um, I would genuinely just say uh, yeah, my hair's changed as in it's getting much, much more male as in like I'm scared I'm gonna start going bold at some point. We love that. I'm ready for that. Um, now I'm going to a doctor to speak about it to try and get some, uh, some sort of, you can take these pills that help it to stop going to your hair follicles. But other than that, my hair's much more coarse, much less soft. It's very coarse actually. Um, it's changed texture crazy. Uh, my neck's much thicker. There's so much that has happened since my first... I can't even remember all the categories that I would list. Eyebrows thicker, even though I usually pluck them, they are still much thicker, um, as in the hair-wise, but they're not like the biggest eyebrows. Uh, yeah, facial hair's gradually growing up onto my face, but it's still like just underneath here. Um, body hair, lots of that. Muscles, I'm still scrawny AF. I guess I should take my shirt off. I mean, I'm looking not like the best recently, as in like muscle-wise. Over summer, I was getting really nice and fit, and now I don't even know what I'm doing. Da, 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 I didn't really try, baby. Right. Do, do, do. See, okay, so I've got these really weird ribs and they like stick out. So, like, I look, this rib's lower and then they stick out on my body and I don't know why they do that, but like, I spoke to the surgeon about it and they just do that. Um, fat still clings. If you see here, like, I have this little bit, but apparently, with time, that will go, like these here, they, I'm always self-conscious about these, especially when I'm wearing shirts. I know it's probably because I should just lose some weight because I was losing them over summer, but, um, but like, I just get these and they always really annoy me. Um, my chest muscles, I had some and they're going back down, but my top surgery results are looking really good. Like, like there's a little bit of fat that I noticed was actually in the middle there. But in general, like, with my arms, there's a bit more musculature. I'm still very skinny, but I, I don't mind it. I like how it's turned out. Um, amazing results. He actually, I spoke to him when I was going down there, and um, he basically was speaking to me about, like, how much, I've, how much it's changed as well. But he was also having a chat to me, saying thank you for, like, making your um, top surgery series, because he watched the vlogs. And it's rather funny because in those vlogs I made when I was high on anaesthetic, I made some very awkward um, jokes about him. And when he told me he watched it, I was just like, oh, <laughs> oh no. He mentioned, he went, oh yes, you're Call Me Laddie on, on, on the YouTube and on the Instagram. I've seen your like drawings of your top surgery and your videos and things like that and um, a few other people have mentioned you have come in and I was like that's so crazy it's such a small world that like you guys have been going in to Miles Berry to get surgery and you've been like oh I saw this from uh, from Call Me Laddie's uh, vlogs and things of it and uh, that's really cool so we just had a really nice chat and he was like you're looking great thank you for sharing it with everyone thank you for answering people's questions so I'm not too busy answering them um, and I want to do say I do want to say thank you to Miles Berry and his team. Amazing bunch of people. I'm gonna post some photos of like my like 
top surgery soon on my Instagram, so go check that out. There's always days where I go out and I'm like, oh, I look like, oh, I bet people wonder if I'm a woman or not, you know? But people don't. It's I think that's just, as a trans man or a trans woman or, you know, just a trans person, you always have that thing in the back of your mind because I've been a non-passing trans man for longer than I've been a passing trans man. So like I think most of the time you're always thinking, oh is that person thinking that I'm this? Is that person thinking I'm that? Uh, like m my transition has helped me a lot in other ways because I don't have to worry about that all day every day. I still do and I probably always will have that residual worry because I'm still a very small man. <laughs> it's meant that I can get on with my life and my degree and my hobbies and things like that because I'm not always 100% worrying about it or worrying if I want to go in on a day. Some days I actually go in and I feel confident like today I've just been in my room kind of dancing about having a fun time, um, feeling confident, feeling happy, and it's an up and down roller coaster of my life, but compared to last year, it's a miracle how things are going this year. Thanks to all of you guys for sticking around and anyone new to the channel, and I'm hoping I can grow this channel more. I understand the growth has been very small because I have a lot of other things to do and I haven't always put 100% into this channel but I, I do really try and recently I've been trying to like add more into the editing and and add more video ideas and cool concepts and maybe even start doing some sh short movies on this channel because it's what I've always wanted to do. I want to put more back into the channel because you guys have given me so much already. I appreciate you all um, and um, yeah I guess happy one year six months to me on testosterone. It's weird being here. It is very surreal to be fair. I remember the time when I was in my flat in Portsmouth, if any of you guys subscribed back then, and um, I I just remember feeling so lost. Like this was so far in the future. I was watching all these videos of people being like, yeah, being this long on tea. Like people, I don't know, being one year, six months on testosterone like me and thinking, oh, I wish I was there right now and I'm here right now and it is crazy uh, how it's changed. So I don't want to ramble on too long. I always do. I always ramble. Just a little intersection in this video. I think one major thing that I actually really wanted to add was about my makeup and my expression and I really didn't speak about it and I haven't spoken about it enough. Well, not enough, but I mean in this video because I think one of the big changes is my expression, how I like to express myself, the clothes I like to wear, the sort of makeup I like to do at the moment. I I'm I am I am living right now for this look. I mean, the red and the little like heart in between the eye and just it's like a natural but not natural look like I don't even know and what I've been wearing recently like how I've been expressing myself much more openly much more freely mostly due to the confidence like I remember back at the beginning even like a few months ago I didn't have this level of like expression that I'm doing right now and I can just experiment with how I want to express myself because I know and I feel more comfortable in who I am and in my body right now um, and I just wanted to intersect a little bit here because I was just doing some makeup and I just love this. I think that is the most imp important change uh, it is my personality. Uh, all the physical stuff obviously helped that change um, and I'm gl I'm so glad for that but I, I'm just happy that I can live my extra life and do makeup and do artsy things. Hi Glow, how are you doing? Back to the outro. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. Subscribe and there's gonna be some crazy cool videos out that I have planned that I filmed in summer and I didn't get the stuff done until now. So you can have some nice cool videos that I filmed and a bunch of other things, new segments to the channel. Love you all. Um, just, yeah, subscribe. <laughs> okay, thank you for watching. Bye.